Hello, Maya. How are, uh, can you hear me? Come a little closer. No, it's not very clear. Yeah. Now, is it okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Maya. Uh, I hope all of you are doing fine. Uh, I'm also quite fine, though <laughs> there is a major problem in electricity in our area because the temperature arose a little bit. However, today's topic is an interesting topic and quite much, pretty much uh, related to our Adda Baji. Well, uh, if we look around or look at this topic, like teaching English in Bangladesh, uh, at first we will find out that there are three types of students learning in the English in our country, like students who are learning or continuing their education in Bangla version, then English version, and also English medium students. Uh, all of the students are uh, passing quite a long duration before entering their graduation or post-graduation segment, and they learn English for nearly 10 to 12 years. But though continuing for a long moment, they find that they couldn't reach a good competence, they couldn't catch a good competence in the language uh, after learning for a long period the language. As it is known that English is a lingua franca here, uh, being a common language throughout the uh, in the worldwide, we find this it's very influential as a language and a most powerful tool uh, to communicate worldwide. Uh, okay, uh, we know that the language works in four segments listening, speaking, reading, writing. And we find that most of the students in our country, they continue like, the, they just have mastered on writing the language from one to 12. And they do not put emphasis on the other parts of the learning, like listening, speaking, and reading. Only they just only develop the skill in writing because it's a common tendency among the guardians and the students, also the teachers, like uh, they just want to secure good grades and the students just run after grade and end up learning lessons, which only help them to secure good result. For this reason, the teacher who is working uh, behind them, they do not put any emphasis on the real art of the learning the language, which is communication. And for this reason, students easily do not develop the real competence, which is communicate or to communicate among themselves or to communicate influentially uh, by the language. Uh, for, for this, most of the students in our country suffer a lot when it is time to communicate through the language because they did not develop the competence uh, of the language to that extent they were supposed to develop. Then they did this just to memorize some lessons that what wrote and the, they wrote them in their exam scripts and secured a good grade because uh, if we look, look at this topic carefully, we find this, uh, what was their intention was to secure a good grade. And ultimately, they can secure, they can manage themselves to secure good grades. Uh, if, uh, according to my perception, and also uh, if we read newspaper articles or some research articles, we'll discover that uh, uh, if our mindset was to develop the communication competence in the language, uh, I think they would or they could be able to manage the competence because the uh, among earlier mentioned, like three segment students, Bangla version, English version, English medium, uh, we find that the English medium students and English version students are quite adept in their, in this area. Like they can speak, they can read, they can write, and they can also, they can also develop uh, with a good competence of listening. And uh, I think though their number is like comparatively, uh, 
comparing to the number of Bangla version students, English medium and English version students are quite big. But, but the huge, it is huge that the Bangla version students, the number of Bangla version students is huge. And that's why uh, uh, we, we find that, that most of the students also me that uh, by, in my education life, from which, which started in 2002, and uh, I have completed my higher secondary studies, uh, higher secondary education in 2016, I just learned how to, I just learned the grammar. We do not learn any language, how to speak, how to communicate with people. I just, what I just learned is grammar. And for this reason, though the grammar follow the language, the language doesn't follow the grammar, but we are taught grammar at first. And for this reason, we do not know how to use that grammar in the practical situation. That lacks a lot and that creates a huge problem. And uh, as it is a, as I have earlier mentioned that it's a common tendency to secure a good result for this reason, uh, we the teacher are also working against the, like there are some common, common topics for board questions, for instance, uh, uh, if we memorize these board questions, we will, uh, we can manage to secure a good results. The students are memorizing those good board questions. They are memorizing the grammatical topics that parts of speech, verbs, like uh, the transformation of sentences, narrations, then completing sentences, it is cetera, et cetera. And students are quite good. Uh, they are quite able to manage these areas, but they are not working in the working on the real art of a language, which is communi to communicate. And uh, I guess if we bring a change in our mindset, like uh, if the mindset gets B, like to develop a competence in the language, like we try to, uh, we put emphasis on our speaking, to talk with people, to talk with, uh, to talk uh, like influentially or effectively, then I hope uh, we can get out of this situation and we can make a good, uh, like we can cut a good figure in our target. That's it. Thank you, Bhaiya.